Hi everyone, this is me Dr. Abhisha and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll talk about some resources that will be helpful for you in your USMLE Step 1 exam. Let's begin. Number one resource for your USMLE Step 1 is First Aid. First Aid can be used in the initial days of USMLE Step 1 because it is very high yield for USMLE Step 1, 2 and even 3. First Aid book is like a packed form of all the information that you need and it has all the correlations with the clinical as well. The first part of the first aid book is basics and the second part is clinical. While you are reading first aid, you need to make sure that you are reading the latest edition. Number two resource is Boards and Beyond videos. It is a comprehensive video series and I just love this resource so much because it has all the useful information that you need and it is very elaborative you'll understand everything while you are starting your usmle preparation your step one preparation by studying first aid it will be difficult for you initially to just study first aid because the information there is packed and it is like compiled and it is so concise so in order to understand the chapters in first aid you can go through boards and beyond videos during my initial days of preparation i used to see boards and beyond videos Videos initially and correlate the videos with the chapters in the first aid for example if you are going to study about DNA so first I used to see the video of DNA from my boards and beyond video then only I'll study from first aid in that way I will have the overall concept from the video and also study some of the high yields from first aid and I correlate them together and used to study that way that was so effective for me please give it a try because because that will be a lot more helpful than just studying first aid alone and boards and beyond alone. And if you want to look a longer form, people recommend Kaplan videos also. I did watch biochemistry and pharmacology Kaplan videos, but Kaplan videos are very much longer. It is almost three hours, four hours long videos. So boards and beyond videos are a little bit shorter. In boards and beyond video series, there are diagrams, chart, illustrations, for me, if I have to choose one video series for USMLE preparation, it would be hands down, Boards and Beyond videos. So the resources 1 and 2 go hand in hand. First aid and Boards and Beyond videos goes hand in hand. You need to watch Boards and Beyond videos simultaneously with first aid and you will understand everything. The third resource I highly recommend you all is Pathoma. I would say it is the best resource for USMLE steps for pathology. You don't have to look for any other resources besides Pathoma if you want to excel in pathology. The videos are good. The book Pathoma is very good. Pathoma book and videos both go hand in hand. So you can watch both videos and read book so that it would be really helpful and you can correlate them both. And trust me, Pathoma videos are so easy to understand, so integrated. Each and every word is so important there. It is so concise and I love it. I highly recommend it. So the fourth resource is really important because after reading first aid, boards and beyond videos, uh, after doing pathoma, you need to put your knowledge to one thing that is U world. U world is a question bank where we need to take subscriptions and there are answers, questions you can do in test mode, tutor mode, and you can gain all the knowledge that is in the question bank. And note that don't use U world solely as a question bank, use it as a separate resource to learn from that. The best part of U word is that it is like a mirror of the exam. It is very much closer to the real exam. It looks so realistic and it is in the same format. It has all the high yields explanation. I would say this again that do not use U word solely as a question bank. Use it as a resource because the high yield explanation, high yield topics it covers is really important for your step one. What you can do is that initially watch the video videos, the Pathoma videos, the uh, first aid videos, then you can jump into U world after gaining certain amount of knowledge so that you can read as well as test yourself through U world. The other resource would be Sketchy. 
USML step one is all about basics, basics and basics. So you need to have that clear concept on the basic. And for me, the most difficult part was pharmacology and microbiology. So for that, I watched sketchy videos. You can watch sketchy videos of pharma and microbiology. It would be a lot more easier for you. Sketchy videos is more about storytelling with colorful illustrations and it helps you memorize the microbiology, the microorganism, the pharmacodrugs. So it will be really helpful for someone who is a visual learner. While using Sketchy, you need to study first aid and Sketchy side by side in order to know which topic is really high yield. You can watch the high yield topics of first aid in the Sketchy video and you can correlate them together. Last but not the least resource for USM Step 1 would be Randy Neal videos for biostats. Oh my god, I can't express how much it helped me, not just in step 1 but also in step 2 and step 3. All the concepts in the Randy Neal video is so clear and so concise, so high yield, you need to watch that. It is available in YouTube as well. Biostatistics is asked a lot in step one, step two, and especially in step three. So correlating high yield topics from first aid, U world, and Randy Neal videos by correlating them all, you can be perfect in your biostatistics. After studying from all these resources, you can test your knowledge by doing question banks as well, which includes NBME, UWSA, and Free 120 before the exam. So. This is all you need in your USML step ones. Hope you like this video and if you want me to talk about any other topic, you can just comment down in the comment section. I wish you all the best for your USML step one preparation and see you again and hope you have a good day. Subscribe. Bye.